And I'm gonna take this over to my pot. Next thing I have is the sirloin steak strips. I'm gonna wash these off and then put these in the pan and then I'll show you the seasonings that I use. And then I just put the steak strips in the pan. And I'm not trying to fully cook these. I'm just trying to get a little color on them. And then I'll show you the seasonings that I'm going to use. So the seasonings that I'm just going to use here is some garlic powder. I got both garlic powder. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Onion powder, okay. So some garlic powder, some onion powder, some seasoned all, seasoned salt, a little black pepper, and just a little bit of thyme. And that's it, just some basic seasonings, nothing too extra, just that. If you have some rosemary, that would go good as well, but I don't have any. So now I got the seasonings on, and now I'm going to put a little flour. Just a little bit to thicken it. Because this is actually going to go in the crock pot. It looks like with the flour on it, I know not so appealing just yet. Your next step you're going to want to do is get some heavy cream. Now, I don't have any heavy cream. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is do some milk. I know y'all, trust me. If you don't have heavy cream, you can definitely use some milk. <laughs> some milk and some butter. Put the butter in there. I'm going to let the butter melt a little bit. <clears throat> and then all of this is going to go into the crock pot. I know y'all thinking, she don't have a lot of stuff. Why would she do this video? Because <laughs> you can improvise. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to let this butter melt. And then... Um, Everything's gonna go in the crock pot. All right. Okay, so it's in the crock pot now, and I got it on a low setting. Now, this is not everything that's gonna go in this dish. Right now, it's six o'clock, and I plan on having this dish cook um, overnight, just to get the meat all tender. So, about, maybe two or three in the morning. What I'm gonna throw in here is some carrots, some fingerling potatoes, and um, I think that's actually gonna be it. I might put a little bit more milk in it, a little more liquid, but um, that's it. And then I'll let it cook it, uh, like that until six o'clock. And from there, um, we will have a nice, I'll show you guys the finished product. We'll have a nice type of stew. But two more things I forgot to tell you guys. So I dashed it with a little coconut aminos. Now you don't have to use coconut aminos if you don't like that. It can definitely be soy sauce. Um, I just actually like the flavor of this. And then some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> I'm sure that was said wrong, but y'all know what I'm talking about. So uh, a little bit of this and then um, literally just leave it alone. And then um, about uh, two to three hours before um, you're ready to serve, just put the potatoes and the carrots in and you got a meal. And again, I'll show you guys the finished product. And I just wanted to show you guys the finished product. It was the next morning. And I did put the carrots and the potatoes in about 12.30 midnight. And that is the finished product. Now you can get some bread or whatever you'd like to go with it and that is just a little um, beef stew that can keep you warm for the winter oh and I did add chicken broth to it as well <laughs>